So I posted a couple of videos on my uh, progress with um, uh, making these uh, obsolete um, 380 Rook cartridges. Um, as you, if you saw the other videos, you understand it's a healed bullet, so uh, the heel only fits in uh, a small way into the case mouth, and the diameter of the bullet is uh, the same as the diameter of the case. So, uh, in testing them, uh, I was getting fairly erratic um, speeds on the chronograph. And uh, so, <clears throat> it, uh, doing a bit of research, I found that perhaps what I need to do is crimp the bullets. Now, if you see the other video, you see they fit in quite tight. You can't turn them by hand or pull them out by hand. But I kind of think that the difference in velocity could be due to the fact that uh, they're not all quite the same. And so perhaps crimping them will, will help. So... <clears throat> A few years ago, I picked up a, uh, a set of these collets. I believe they're from a jeweler's lathe. Uh, got them at an auction someplace, and I always intended to make a chuck for them. Uh, never got around to it yet. Uh, anyway, one of these collets was just about the perfect diameter, and uh, so I um, I turned it out on the inside a little bit, just leaving a lip to uh, to catch on the case. And then I uh, just turned out a, a body out of some uh, ready rod, 7 8 ready rod. Now in the collet, what I did in the end, you see there's no threads or anything in here for fastening it. So I turned a, a bolt to a very uh, tight press fit and uh, put it in the top here. And that's what you see here. Now all this little bolt does is to prevent the collet from dropping out when you uh, when you pull the bullet. Uh, there's no other strain on it other than that. So to uh, operate it, I've got a, uh, a bushing that I made up here of the uh, the correct size, which when I slide it over top of the bullet. Uh, and push it up in there. The the face of the collet will uh, be pushed by this bushing and uh, tighten it up. Now let's see if we can get enough light to see what it looks like. And they are still tight. Uh, and the pressure, the neck pressure is going to be the same on all of them. Uh, so I'm hoping that this is going to um, uh, straighten out the issue with the erratic ve velocity. Uh, out of the 20 that I tested, I had over 100 feet per second uh, difference between the, the fastest and the slowest. So it's not a wonder that my accuracy wasn't uh, what it should be. Uh, as I said before, I don't ever expect this gun to be a target rifle, but it would be nice if it were uh, a little bit better. If you could get a 5-inch group at 50 yards, I'd be quite content with that. As it is right now, it's about a 10-inch group. So, anyway, it's uh, another one of these uh, figure things out as you go. We'll just do one more and you'll see how this works. There's the crimp. You pull it out, and it all this little bolt does is stop the uh, uh, the collet from falling out. Uh, let's see if this will show up here uh, before and after. So, once I get out to the range with it again, we'll test and see if the uh, velocity issues have improved or not. Uh, in any event, it was a uh, was quite an enjoyable little project and quite satisfying to see that uh, this system does put a fairly good crimp on these bullets. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.